Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to see fast API and how you can install in your system. So the process that we are going to discuss will be same for both Linux and for Windows. But today in this tutorial, I'm going to show for Windows. So let's get into it. The very first step that we are going to do is create virtual environment. If you want to check out uh, how you can create virtual environments, you can check out these videos and my blog post on the website. The links are in the description below. You can use uh, Anaconda Navigator where you can give the name of your virtual environment and select the Python version that you want. Then click on create. Now this will create the virtual environment of your choice. You also have an option to do this via terminal. For this, you have to write command conda create dash n, then your name of your virtual environment and Python equals to the version that you want. So over here, I'll give 3.10. Then it'll automatically ask you to install the required libraries. Click Y and press enter. And your virtual environment is created. Now we are going to install fast API. So the first thing that we are going to do is uh, activate our newly installed environment. Now copy this command from the official Anaconda website that is conda install dash c conda force fast API. After this, we'll also install the UVCon. Once the installation is done, head to your text editor and create a new file. You can also change your interpreter. Since I've installed Python 3.8 and uh, I have installed everything in test backend, I'll select that. Now next, we'll import the fast API. Next, we are going to initialize fast API. Now in order to test it, we'll write a simple get request for that you can do at the red app dot get and the path. So if you just give slash, then this will be the root path. Next, we'll write async function and name it root. We're just going to return a JSON message and inside that we'll have message as hello world. All right. So in order to run it first in the terminal, we have to start our virtual environment. Then you have to give uvcon file name colon initialization that is your app then you need to give reload so every time you make changes it will automatically be reflected you can click on the link to actually access them you see in the root uh, we have received our message that is hello world now fast api also offers us a uh, swagger documentation for that you can do slash docs so you see by default, we have root over here. If you want, you can again run it. Uh, just click on try it out and execute. There you have the response. That is your message. Hello world. Now fast API also offers redoc for that. The link is slash redoc. I hope you enjoyed this small and quick tutorial. Let me in the comments down below what other videos I should make. Till then, keep watching and do subscribe to my channel.